Hi students, uh, the next experiment is uh, shift registers. So in the shift registers, we have to verify four types of operations. That is SISO, SIPO, SISO. Next one, SIPO, SIPO, PISO. Next one, PIPO. So SISO stands for serial in serial out. PISIPO stands for serial in parallel out. PISO stands for parallel in series out. And PIPO stands for parallel in parallel out. Okay. So for SISO and SIPO operations, we have to use this IC. And for PIS and PIPO operations, we have to use this IC. So let, let us see the circuit diagram connections. First one, SISO, serial input. So give that input slot section connection so these are the inputs and these are the outputs okay right so next clock is given to the clock generator clock is given to the clock generator next serial output we have to take single output so we have to take single output so next one more while doing serial operation so put it as load shift load is low level connected to the input slot section put it as low level so these are the circuit diagram connections for siso operation serial in serial load so now switch on the trainer gate and verify the values. So input data equal to zero, clock equal to one, shift load is low. Okay. Whenever input data equal to zero. So register what happens? The register simply shifts the data from input to output. Okay now. When we are applying zero here, so zero here, output also zero. So when we are applying one output also one so first bit is transferred to the output go for the second bit second bit second bit for the second bit input data is one output also one if i am applying zero output will be zero okay so this one is second bit transferred to the output next go for the third bit so if, if i am applying zero data third bit also zero so if i am applying one what happens output also one third bit transferred to the output next go for the fourth bit so if I am applying one, output also one. If I am applying zero, output also zero. So fourth bit also transferred to the output. Step by step output. So when we are applying input data serially, output also transferred to serial load. Since why that a register is called as uh, serial in serial load register. Let us see the serial in parallel load. Serial in parallel means at a time we have to connect the four outputs. So four outputs are parallel. One, four parallel outputs. So this one is input. When we are applying zero input data, parallel four outputs are zero. So four bit design, the four bit design is at four outputs are zero condition. So when serial in parallel load operation. So when we are applying we are one, all four outputs becomes one. So this one is serial in parallel output. Input data serially. Output is getting parallel. The next register is parallel in series out and parallel in parallel. While doing parallel operations, we have to use this IC. Okay, right. So parallel at a time, all inputs are connected. Parallel. A. Parallel inputs. Clock is connected to the clock generator. Shift load. While doing parallel operations, put it as one. Always one. Parallel inputs. Serial output. Serial output means we have to connect single output. Single output value. So these are the connections. Parallel inputs. Clock is connected to the clock generator. Shift load. While doing parallel operation, load it as zero. Load it as one. Okay. S serial input data. When we are applying four inputs are parallel. So parallel inputs. Four inputs are one. Four inputs are zero. So outputs also zero. QA output. A Q Q A output is zero. So Q B also zero. Q C also zero. Q D also zero. Let us take any other condition. Double zero, double one. I am taking. So Q A equal to zero. QB equal to 0, QC equal to 1, QD equal to 1. So QA equal to 0, QB equal to 0, QC equal to 1 we are applied. So 1 data we are applied. So QD equal to 1 we are applied. You can take any alternate conditions. I am applying 4 ones. 
whatever it may be input data same data will be transferred to the output so four ones q equal to one first bit is transferred so next one to be equal to one second bit is transferred third one third bit is transferred qc equal to one so next one fourth bit is transferred qd equal to one. so parallel input serial output step by step output we are getting so so if i required parallel input parallel output pip operations so all four outputs are connected parallelly four outputs are connected at a time so these are the parallel outputs okay and parallel inputs load clock parallel inputs if i'm applying double one double zero input data we are getting double one double zero input data so double one zero one we have to get double one zero one so double one double zero one we have to get one double zero so input data either it applies the output of the data also so this one is parallel input parallel output operation that's it.